Good morning. Emmanuel. Shalom, children of God. My name is uh, Monica Mabuza. Kimuhataka next to me, Ntate Mabuza. He will start to testify. We are here to glorify the greatness of the Lord upon our lives. Emmanuel. Children of God, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Bernard Mabuza the husband to the beautiful lady next to me. You can do better than this, children of God. Wow. I'm going to start off giving our first testimony. It goes back to 2019. 2019, we managed to finish off paying for our house. And uh, after paying it off, we struggled to get our letter, which is the title deed. We fought going from pillar to post, but eventually we got it. After getting it, 2020, during hard lockdown, I said to my wife, I think it's time we renovate this house because that was the bond. Now it's ours, we can do whatever we want with it. By then, we had a specific budget that we prepared to spend on it. We called in an architect, explained to him what we want in the house, then I think he know them by now. He looked at it and said, let me just do what you want and also suggest what I think you should do. He went to do two sketches. The first one was the one that we wanted. The second one was his. Then he said, I suggest you go for this one. But sitting down with my wife and look at the one he's suggesting, we look at it and said, it is a little bit more than what we budgeted for. But again, something just said to us, go for it. Then we decided to go for it. Uh, it was during hard lockdown, I I'm telling you. I remember one day sitting alone, there was a voice that I don't know where it's coming from that said to me, what if you don't go back to work after having used all this money? But there is another one, the one that is stronger than this one, that said to me, go for it. Can you clap for Master Jesus? Indeed, we went on rebuilding the house. Because if I look at the amendments made on the house, it's like a brand new house now. Um, I used to, to, to laugh about it and say I used to stay, to stay in a bond house, which is a tiny little house. Now I'm staying in a mansion. Can you clap for Master Jesus? My brother, I um, want to know when people were crying, People were lamenting. People were, some were mourning because of the ups and downs that comes with the lockdown, the COVID-19. What is your source of encouragement to embark on such project at the time of lack, at the time of adversity as we experience during the COVID-19? As I mentioned, the second voice that I heard kept on telling me that go for it, God will provide. And indeed, he provided. Amen. That is our first testimony, and it went very well. The good thing about it is we did everything. We're not owing anybody, even the bank. The house is ours. Let us put our hands together. Amen and amen. Then the second testimony is about my career. Uh, it occurred, or it happened in 2021. I was working in Palabura for this other company. Then I received a call from one of my all-time friends who was a manager somewhere. He said to me, where are you? I said, I'm in Palavra. Then he said to me, 
don't you want to join me and start building a mine one more time? Then I said to him, but I'm working right now. He said to me, yes, I know you are working, but I, I, I think I need your help in this time. Then I said, okay, that's fine. What's on the table, he told me. I'm not going to tell you the figures. Then I joined him. That was 2021. We started everything from scratch. And uh, he left sometimes during, the, 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 during 2022. Then something was kept on saying to me, now that he's left, what are you going to do? Again, the courage that I had said to me, in fact, he brought me here but doesn't decide what to do. He's gone. I will continue doing what I do best. I did that. When I was on leave in December 2022, there is one contractor that was contracted to the company that I was working for. They had a fatal incident where, whereby one of their operators died in an accident. Then they called me. And my, I remember my wife complaining to say, you're on leave, but you're working. Because when they called me, I have to explain each and every step that they have to take in order to compile all the information needed to, to go through that uh, uh, inquiry. Then I thought everything is fine. Well, I, I went back to work in January. Sometime in February, the company that I assisted, they called me to say, we are going to the DMR to go and explain what happened during our accident. Do you mind joining us? Then I said, no, I, I don't think there can, be, there can be a problem with that. I joined them. We went to the DMR. Before we even get in, one manager from them called me aside to say, I don't know if this is going to sit well with you, but I've been mandated to talk to you, trying to take you to our company. Then I said, but why are you doing this? Then they said to me, the assistance that you gave us during December prompted what I'm telling you right now. Then I said, okay, what is the catch? What is it? What is in stake for me when, when crossing the borders? That site, I was working as a chief safety officer. Then he said to me, they said to me, I must tell you that we're giving you the position of a shack manager. Shack, it's for safety, health, environment, and quality. Then I said, but... I have never been a shake, a shake manager before. Then they said to me, but your skill and the assistance that you gave us told us that you can do it. Then something said to me, go for it again. I did take the offer. Again, I'm not going to tell you the figures. I joined them. That was April last year. April this year, sorry. So I think I'm about three months now working for them. And I can tell you now, all is well and I'm in control through God, the one that we pray. Can we clap for Master Jesus, children of God? So my brother, you are practically telling us that is promotion upon promotion upon promotion upon elevation upon elevation. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Can we clap for Master Jesus once again? Then I think the third one, I don't know if my wife would like to start with that one or should I continue? Let us start so that there will be food on the table this evening. Emmanuel, um, two years ago I came for my cleaning session in church. I'm a sanctuary keeper in Shakana Glorious Faith Ministries. Um, I was outside, I usually come on we usually come on uh, Saturdays to come and do our duties here to prepare for Sunday. Um, yes, our father in the Lord, the prophet Isaka, was outside when he declared to me that um, soon we will have another car. That was two years ago. It was on May. So by the grace of God, the, test, um, the prophecy has come to pass. By the grace of God, we have another car. Can you clap for Master Jesus? Children of God, you are not doing what you're supposed to do. Our sister said she got a, prof, a pro, prophecy from prophets 
that she will be blessed with another car. And in May, and the another May, a car come in May. Prophecy came in May, and car come in May. That signifies who is a prophet. A prophet is he who lives and see what he prophesy come to pass. So, children of God, let us look, watch our screen and see if truly they have the car. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Can you see what I am saying? Children of God, can you see what I am saying? Amen and amen. So if you are driving VW, you aspire to go to Range Rover. So when you go to Range Rover, you know that you have started. So that is why I said it's a machine. If you are driving Toyota Corolla, you look at this one, it's discovery. Amen and amen. Mama, you said that you got a prophecy about a car. At the time, prophet gave you that prophecy. Maybe you are not expecting any car. How did you, what was your reaction when you were told that you are going to have another car? Yes, um, I, I got excited, but um, when we look at our financial issues, in a financial essence, it was like, but I knew the God that I'm under, Shakana Gora Spirit Ministries, God is able to do it for us. Um, it's like uh, on those two years that I was, I was awaiting, it, it's, it's like every May, I will look for a breakthrough, whether it's coming, it's coming. While this year, I already forgotten about it, it came to pass, and exactly at May. Amen and amen. Um, our fourth testimony is concerning our marriage. Um, since we met with my husband, we've been the children of this house. I'm glad to announce and to testify and to thank God that we are 20 years together and uh, seven years in marriage today. Can you scream? Hey, mama in the house, there is a sound I want to hear. I'm not hearing it. Uh -huh. Please, I want you to demonstrate something to show that the love is glittering, shining. Please demonstrate, demonstrate to the glory of God. Please demonstrate it. Amen. Wow. If you are looking for a husband, a husband, a husband, are you looking for a wife? Hey, my God, what a glorious God we serve. We thank God for your anniversary, seven years, and your husband is not using you as a panebita. No gender-based violence. You keep on shining. We have not seen any comma in that marriage. That is to show that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is equally in your house because you are a member of this ministry. We thank God so much for this and pray God to bless you more and more, more breakthrough, more success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our last testimony is about um, our great destiny, the boy that God has given us as a guardian because we, we are not the owner of this child, of these children. There are two is... Destiny and victory, um, we are here to glorify God about the glory that is upon this child. I thought it is um, a good thing for us to stand here and thank God about the wisdom that the Lord has bestowed upon this boy. Um, from, a great, from Kretsch, 
he, he teaches others. So um, from grade R, he got an award and a certificate. Uh, this year again, uh, when before the schools closed, they gave him another award. So we were like, let's come and glorify God of Prophet Isaka for this seed that he has given to us as a guardian to these children. We thank God for that. Can we put our hands together for Master Jesus? I know the day the prophecy of this child destiny came. And Mama said, no, I am done. And Mama said, it's closed. Prophet said, nothing is closed in Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry. And I see boys following you. To the glory of God, after years of closure and whatever Mama said, 18 years after, to the glory of God, two boys came to the prophecy, to confirm the prophecy from the servant of God. Can we put your hands together for Master Jesus? You are not clapping. And uh, today, Mama is confirming that Destiny indeed is having distinctions, awards as a child of the house. So Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry, our children do not carry last. They are always excel in their classes as a sign of being in the presence of God. We thank God for destiny and his brother as a shining light of God's blessings from this house. May they continue to grow in strength and strength, distinctions upon distinctions, awards upon awards in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear again, once again from your husband. And finally, Baba, can you, as the man of the house, can you finally round up your testimony for the day? I, I was like whispering now to my wife that today. Testimony about my, my health. I think it was 2015 or 2016, I can't remember the years. I was diagnosed for asthma and uh, I was using even a spray. But one day, my wife said to me, you need to pray about this and stop using this spray. At one stage, I was, why is she saying all this? Because the doctor gave me this to use. But again, I thought it's not going to help me to be stubborn. I put it aside and stopped using it, keep on praying about it. And it eventually stopped. But uh, sometime late last year, it resurfaced again. I had difficulty, especially when I'm sleeping. My, I had tight chest, which was accompanied by a whizzing sound. I used to go to the doctors, they keep on giving medication, I was taking medication. But on the second of last month, which is June, um, we came for a prayer line. I was prayed for, and I remember the last way that uh, the prophet said, he said to me, go, you are free. From that day up to today, I'm enjoying my sleep. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> my brother, before coming to prayer line, you told us that you went to doctor. How many doctors did you visit to seek for solution to this problem? Here in Johannesburg, I think I went to four. And then where, I, where I'm working in Limpopo, I went to two. So in all six doctors, did you go to Sangoma or Inyanga? Unfortunately enough, uh, I stopped going to Sangoma, I think, around 2012. So it's a, it's a recent thing, so I didn't go to any Inyanga. Thank me. you, Jesus Christ. Can you clap for Master Jesus? And today, to the glory of God, you are testifying that after the prayers, you are healed. Can you breathe in and breathe out? Can you exercise yourself to show the saints here present that you are fully healed?
Let us watch our screen and see when he was on prayer line. Come here. Thank you, Lord. Go, you're free. And my brother, we during the time we are watching the video here, just like the question I asked, I see your countenance when the prophet left you and went to other people. Maybe you are asking, is that all? So what is going through your mind after the prayers when he told you that, go, you are free? I think I can confess in front of everybody that anything that the prophet say, should take it serious. Amen. Because I learned a hard lesson. I remember before victory was born, prophet came to me and say, uh, you, you, you say you are done now having kids. I said, yes. Then he said, but I'm seeing another boy. Then I took it light. And I, I even said to my wife, I think prophet is joking. Then my wife said, no, 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 no. There is no joke with prophet. So when he prayed for me on the 2nd of, of June. When he said to me, go, you are free. I remember that nothing is a joke in this church. Amen. <clears throat> My brother, we thank you so much for these wonderful testimonies. Chains of testimonies. Testimony after testimony. Testimony after testimony. Testimony after testimony, that is to show indeed we are in the presence of God and God is actually watching over us as we are testifying today, my brother, there are people who are looking for house, employment, people who are having issues in their marriage, people are having a lot of problems here and there. And today to the glory of God, every prophecy from the servant of God concerning your family has come to pass. What is a word of advice for sincere present and viewers all over the world? Once again, a prophet used to say, the mediums of this house are not just mediums. There is great things in it. I always kept on using the rougher oil and the rougher salt, saying to myself, if these mediums are working for everyone. They are going to work for me indeed. Amen. And uh, I, can, I can testify that really they have been working for me and uh, if there is someone who is still doubting here, put the, side, the, the, the doubt aside, it's going to work for you. Amen. Let us hear. Let us hear from Mama. Mama, please. You are the heart of all these testimonies. The testimonies, you swim inside the testimonies. And today, to the glory of God, you are here before us, testifying the goodness of God upon your life. You have seen it all, the presence of God. And you have felt it all, the presence of God. Please, what is your word of advice for all the women around? so that they will tap into your testimony and glorify God. Emmanuel, once again. Um, when you leave your house, coming to this place, don't come here to joke. Don't come here to look at other people praying because as our faces are different, so are the calamities in our lives. Yes. So when you come here to pray, pray as if it is it is all upon you so that God will hear you and answer your prayers. Amen. Amen. And one other thing, we are the children of Papa Isaka. Um, children of Isaka, they know their season. When you are here, your season will surely come whether the devil likes it or not. Amen. That, that is my word of advice. Thank you.